Coach was really praising uh, David tonight. Um, can you guys talk about what he has to this team and kind of the improvements he's made for this year? Um, you know, it's his uh, fifth year, so he kind of knows what to do. And he gives us a lot of energy coming off the bench with that second group. And, um, yeah, he's just a great player. He's been rebounding a lot better for us this year. And uh, he's a knockdown shooter, you know, led the Pac-12 the past uh, two, three years, I think. So we know what he's capable of. He's just a great player. He can play both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to encourage him to keep playing and keep getting the shots up. Tiger, a thousand points. Did you know we were close? Coach said he had no idea. And then you hit a thousand points. Just your reaction to being in that club now? Yeah, I didn't know. No one told me. And then I was in the huddle and I looked up and saw. I was obviously focused on what Coach was saying, but yeah, it was it was a cool moment. I saw that I joined like 60 players, and um, that means a lot. Uh, just the hard work that I put in here, and uh, you know, I don't play to for those things to get a thousand points. But obviously, it's a cool accolade to have. So it was cool. You guys, how was the comfort level uh, amongst the players? Uh, technically, you've had three games. This is only you know two and zero right now, but a big win, and it seems like you guys are. Uh, clicking a little bit more, you know, as, as, as you play. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, who just said one more time? Just comfort level of, of, of uh, where you're at right now. Yeah, like how Well, uh, we practice really hard, so when we get out on the court, we try to put it together. But um, we got a lot of young guys that are, you know, willing to play within uh, what we need them to do. And, um, yeah, it's just everybody kind of knows their role, and we're just trying to expand on those throughout the year and get all the guys more comfortable. Um, kind of piggybacking, you mentioned the hard work, kind of going back to the 1,000 points here. Um, I thought it was kind of fitting it was on a three. You know, your first two years, your shooting percentage wasn't very good, and then you had a great lead shooting, you know, like 41, 46 percent from the three-point line last year. So all that hard work on the three-point shooting, and you get into kind of an exclusive club by way of a three-point, you know, how do you react to that? Um, I mean, kind of like I said, it's, it's a cool accolade to have, but like I said, I didn't even know about it because I don't really worry about those things. I just try to go out um, every game and, you know, try to win my matchup and, you know, help coach win and uh, help my team win. So it's a cool accolade. I'm not taking anything from it. Like, it's a cool club to be in. Um, but we got a lot to do this season. I'm just trying to take it one game. Thanks. Jay, when you remember what it's like to be young and your first couple games, how important is it to get these big leads, to get those guys, the young guys, minutes, and, and kind of grow into the season? Uh, I feel like it's tremendous. Um, like when I was here my freshman year, we were that heavy. So I didn't necessarily get the same opportunities and things that the young guys do now, but we're going to need our young guys. Um, we only got, I mean, we got six people that have been here before, the other eight or whatever is all freshmen. I know we have eight freshmen, so that we only got like 11, 12 guys. So it's like we need there to produce and be ready right now. And that's why I said that when we were starting to huddle, we can't um, close games out like this because when it stays tight, we got to stay in longer. Whereas if we would have did what we were supposed to, not turn the ball over and get some stops, our young guys could have played the last five, six minutes freely. If you know what I mean, um, I'm pretty sure Coach knows they're going to make mistakes this their second game, and I really want to give them that opportunity. Oh, I mean, that means a lot. Uh, I got to control my aggressiveness sometimes, the way the rest are calling the game tonight, different than the way they called it last night. But I mean, that's what I feed off of. That's what the crowd feeds off of. And it's not even necessarily going for a record. I just love doing it. I get enjoyment out of playing defense. Like that's just, that's that's what I take pride in. So I'm pretty sure I'll get that record at the pace I'm going. And I'm pretty sure I'll get the single season steals record. I already did the math. I gave myself a good head start. So, <laughs> yeah. so I, I, I got some goals in, in my head.